Hey guys, um, it's been a while since I posted a video, but this is what I've been doing. So, I've actually built a new single axis solar tracker, and it's a 24 volt system on the linear actuator. And yeah, so I didn't build two, I built just one massive giant solar tracker, and it's basically very simple. So for my front pivot system, I actually just bought a new uh, normal bearing that you get at your local hardware store. It's about 300 Rand, I don't know, if you put it in US dollars, it will be probably 30 bucks. So I've got three of them, one here at the front, one in the middle where my sensor is, this is linked together. And one at the back, on the top, and it's going right through. Total length of the thing is about 12 meters, yes, if you can remember correctly, 12 meters. And it's joined together in one unit. I did have some wind problems, but um, yeah, that's why I moved it here, and of course was down there so I had theft so they actually stole three of my panels and for that my pump didn't work because it needs about 700 voltage to put through the inverter to get 383 phase yeah uh, just hold on guys I got a call coming in I can say the bearing it's just your local bearing um, yeah much easier, not a complicated design. Steel pipe, and of course, my solar panels. So I've got some. F I had some flaws with my previous design, with wind and that kind of stuff, and of course theft. That's why I moved it yet close to my house. And yeah, as you can see, I got a three-point structure with reinforcing. Concrete it to the ground, very stiff, and yeah, I've got quite big winds here and fast, very strong. So it it did pose a problem with my previous design. So I actually bought a new actuator. This body can actually lift about six thousand newtons. So yeah, I think it's about six hundred uh, kg. And I've got the steel cable reinforced. Yeah, just to have always have some tension on the solar panels for strong winds, so it turns with the panels and it keeps the tension just for high winds. So I don't have a wind sensor, so I'm reliable I'm relying on mechanical reinforcing. And the way I know it's very strong is when I build this. I actually could walk on the sides when I put up the solar panels without bending anything so it's very tough and there's my sensor of course my cables to my pump or my inverter then to my pump and my pump is way down there at the river so I've got a three-phase cable from here to the river it's about 250 meters with two, two volt voltage drop but I sorted that out by adding a AC choke three phase. And this is my dual axis controller that actually powers the linear actuator. And the cool thing about this is I actually got a remote with it. So let's just check here quickly. If I push left, it should go left. It turns very slow, but it turns. You can actually see on the actuator. And if I turn right, push the right button, it goes right. Yep. So that's basically it, guys. So let me just get a wide view of the solar panels for you guys. It cost a credit. 
pretty penny to put the steel structure up but um, it's worth it I could actually can sleep at night peacefully and of course I've got this small red LEDs for the guys that come visit me so they don't reverse or ride with their motor cars in my panel so it's quite expensive you know you don't want to take any chances yeah very simple design very strong and I'm very pleased with myself let's turn it a little bit on the left hand side let's see if the solar panels can come Oop, wrong way sorry and actually the actuator is not powered by a battery I actually teach the small solar panel to charge the linear actuator so I'm using a normal laptop charger 24 volts so it's not a 12 volt system I run a, a little bit of paint here you can see the primer is still on so I have to go buy some paint to finish the job but it just turns very slowly but it gets the job done Now, to put those panels next to these, I'm going to build another stru um, structure and link them to. So I've got actually two big DIY solar trackers. Guys, if you got any questions or anything, please leave a comment. I'll try to do my best. Internet is a little bit at the moment very slow, so um, just be patient with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi, guys. So sorry for ending the session so quick so just to give you an idea the turning axle took takes about five minutes to do the full turn from right to left and of course from my point of view on the left hand side and the right hand side the same turning so yeah anyway, again guys Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your support and everything. You guys have a great day.